Welcome back, everybody. And Liam, I was figuring, why don't we make lemonade out of lemons? It's not a mess up. Mm -hmm. It is hoggy out. It's it's <laughs> hazy and foggy. No, why it not? really is. It's both. It's it, we have a little bit of fog this morning that will go away, but the haziness from the wildfire smoke is going to be pretty much here to stay for the day today. I was about to say, look at the picture behind us there. Yeah. I mean, it's going crazy out there. Yeah, you can when you're looking when you're looking at the sky from the ground, you can see the haziness a little bit in the distance, but when you're looking from our sky cams that are higher up, like the Monarch Place one, you really can't even see anything between the low clouds, the wildfire smoke. But we are going to be dealing with that for the day today and into tomorrow. So looking at the wildfire smoke, we are looking at moderate levels of wildfire smoke for today for pretty much all of the northeast from those fires coming in out of Canada. And the air quality has been reduced quite a bit as well. We are going to be getting into the level three and level four ranges, which are unhealthy for sensitive groups and unhealthy for everyone, including your pets as well. So this is going to be something that we will be dealing with today as well. So with that, there is an air quality alert in effect. In fact, our current air quality index is 151, and that's when it starts to get unhealthy for everyone, not just those sensitive groups, including their pets. So it's definitely a good idea to limit your time outside with no really vigorous activity, and you definitely could start to feel a little bit of some headaches and irritated eyes, and you can even smell it a little bit as you're heading out this morning. So with that, we are going to be looking at a little bit of some wildfire smoke. This is going to be in the higher levels of the atmosphere, this particular future cast, and we are going to continue to see that move across the area, and we are going to see it kind of filter out the sunshine. We're not going to be seeing all that many clouds, especially for the beginning half of the day, but as we head into the second half of the day, we'll see some more clouds building in, but we we will regardless see a little bit of some of that filtered sun with a little bit of a milky appearance to the sky with this wildfire smoke that's high up in the atmosphere. Looks like we'll see things improving slightly as we head into the day on Sunday and into Monday. But as we take a look at the wildfire smoke here at the surface, this is what we're seeing cause the haziness that we're seeing as we look out off in the distance. And this is what we'll continue to see for the day today as well as the majority of the day tomorrow. We are going to continue to see this impacting our air quality just a little bit as we head through the next couple of days or so. But we do look to have a little bit of improvement heading into the second half of the day on Sunday and possibly going into Monday as well. So we are going to be looking at a little bit of some reduced visibility this morning due to fog and the haziness, but the haziness will be lasting throughout the day and we could see a little bit of some reduced visibility as well. Currently, we're down to three miles here in Springfield down to Hartford, two miles in New Haven, one mile down over into Pittsfield. So pretty much throughout all of southern New England, we're definitely seeing some fog and haziness reducing your visibility, especially as you head out towards the eastern part of the state where Boston is down to under a mile. Now, as we take a look at your 24, we'll see a little bit of some fog this morning, but that will quickly burn off, giving way to mostly sunny skies, but it will still look a little hazy because of that wildfire smoke. Today is going to be a warm day as well, but not overly humid. We are going to see dew points getting up into the 60s, so it could feel a touch muggy, but really overall, it won't be all that bad out. It's not till later on this week we are going to be dealing with those dew points getting into the oppressive levels. So as we head into the overnight, we'll start to see some clouds working in once again. We'll be partly cloudy. Temperatures will drop down into the 60s, and we'll see a little bit of some fog once again tomorrow morning. And we are going to start off tomorrow with a little bit of some hazy and fogginess, kind of like what we're seeing this morning, and temperatures starting off into the 60s. Heading into tomorrow afternoon, we do run the risk for a few showers, a few scattered showers heading into the afternoon, perhaps even a rumble of thunder as well. Currently, as we take a look out from our Monarch Place sky cam, you can't even see anything. Normally, we would see I-91, downtown Springfield, but the visibility between the fog and the wildfire smoke are so reduced that we can't even see down there. As we take a look at the temperatures right now, we're at 64 degrees. We are looking at a dew point of also 64, so a touch muggy, but overall really not feeling all that bad. Taking you through the rest of the day on Sunday, we'll start off with mainly cloudy skies, and we do run the risk for a few showers and, uh, as we head into the afternoon, primarily at any time after noontime and then getting into the evening, we'll continue to see some scattered showers. And we'll also be looking at a bit of a breeze coming in out of the south. This ushers in those warmer and more humid temperatures that we're going to be seeing for the rest of the weekend and into much of next week where it is going to be significantly humid. We do run the risk for a few scattered showers as well as we head into the day on Monday and then into the afternoon on Monday. We could even see a line of perhaps even some thunderstorms coming through with those winds coming in out of the south with a cold front and then the winds will shift coming in out of the west behind that front. So this is going to be our next weather maker. We are going to be looking at some scattered showers and storms both Monday and into Tuesday. Now for the rest of the week, we are going to be looking a bit humid as well with temperatures getting into the lower to middle 80s. And then in fact, we do start to turn up the heat as well. Heading into Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we could be on tap for a potentially our first heat wave of the season with temperatures getting into the lower 90s and it will be humid, but it does look to be mainly dry both Wednesday and Thursday. And then once again, it turns a little bit more unsettled heading into next weekend.